All right, hi everyone. Uh, I'm going to go through and um, upgrade my firmware from 3.32 to 3.33. Um, that's the latest firmware for ICS uh, ROMs. So, uh, thanks to Koa R here from on the uh, SCA forums. I'm going to follow. I follow um, the step by step instructions to the T. And um, I'm going to I'm going to run through it now. So first thing to do is obviously go to the uh, the forum here, and what you're looking for is under sensation Android development this friendly firmware Universal. So <clears throat> first thing to do is read these instructions, um, and then read them again and read them again just to make sure you fully understand. Because um, like anything this can brick your device if you don't um, know what you're doing or you flash the wrong firmware for your device so um, yeah make sure you read it many times I read it many times so the first thing for me was because I've already uh, flashed 3.32 uh, I'm upgrading to 3.33 so um, there's two down loads for this. There's a full package here like it says. So if you're coming from anything older than 3.32 download the full package. If you've got 3.32 already and you just want to upgrade you can download the patch um, only. Alright so again um, you can make sure that you're adequately prepared and it's S off all that kind of stuff. All right? So um, the other thing you need to do is check your CID and MID. A couple of ways to do this and uh, the first way is just to boot your phone into bootloader, follow these instructions, you'll get your um, ID of the phone so that you know um, which ones you need to add. If not, um, <clears throat> if it's not already in there. So my um, my phone is an Australian phone, so the CID number isn't actually in here, and I tried to run it, so and it came up with CID error, so I had to add mine manually, which is what I'll go through and show you how to do now as well. Um, but I did just follow this in these instructions here step by step. <clears throat> okay, so first thing is um, I did was go and download Notepad Plus Plus here. So as you can see over here, just do a Google search for it, it'll come down and then install. This is the latest version as of, um, as it says here, 7th of July 2012. So I've already installed that. Get ready to go. So it says download your zip file, right? So scroll down here a little bit. <clears throat> and these are the ones that are available. So as I was saying before, that's the full one if you're coming from something lower than 3.32 otherwise um, you can get the patch which is what I did so um, I've already downloaded it and um, as always make sure you check the MD5 um, so that's all good okay so I've downloaded it and that's the file there so just ignore that text file for now so the first thing once we've installed it, it says here is download, double click the file and open using Windows Archive Manager or Windows Zip Program. Okay, so what you want to do is, so there the files contained within <coughs> that zip file. So what we're going to do is um, you want to copy this Android, sorry, this Android info text file and paste it outside the zip file. Okay, so if we just copy that. So that's still in the zip. I'm going to go back here and paste it on top. I'll, I'll just override that one. Copy and replace. <clears throat> Alright, so that's what you want to do. Now what we want to do there is right click and open it in Notepad++. And this program's brilliant for this. So as you can see, you've got the model ID numbers and the CID numbers in here. Um, in the original one, this one was not included, um, and that's the one that I needed 
for my phone. So it's an Australian Telstra. So my model ID number was that one, and which was already included, so that's fine. So I needed to add that one in there. So once you added that, add that one in, the most important thing to do um, is here number seven, make sure there are no spaces after the text because then it can basically can will give you an error. So uh, how I did that was I pasted it in and if you use the keyboard and just press next, that'll tell you like that, that'll tell you there's no spaces after that one. Okay, once you've done that, um, go file, save. Um, this one's saving as because I haven't edited anything. Save it and then what you want to do is um, copy it, open up your zip, um, either delete this one or paste on top. Safest way, safest bet is to delete out of the zip file and then paste the other one back and then just to have a quick look. So this is in Notepad here. The first CID number I've got is that one there which is the one I added and that's exactly how it should look. Okay. So that's pretty much it. That's you've that's pretty much it. We've created our own um, zip file to upgrade um, the radio for the HTC sensation. So now it's just a matter of doing what you've done uh, before to upgrade your radio. It says delete it. <clears throat> now you you've added it. Flash your newly packaged edited firmware. So so now that now that we've done that the firmware is ready to be um, put onto the phone and flashed. 